Yeah, hello and welcome to another update video about Ethereum and Ethereum is really doing everything that it is supposed to be doing and everything that we talked about as well. Um, throughout the history here when I started to cover Ethereum, Ethereum has moved up. Um, we talked about this target area here that was hit perfectly, then we started to move down in this channel, remained bearish here throughout, did hit my first target area back here um, at around 3500. That was then um, that was expected. Then we moved down here into this target area that was expected as well. And I've always said when we reach the target area here, that is a chance where with a high probability Ethereum can turn around. Um, this target area is sitting here between basically 1700, even though I'm not sure if we're going to reach that still, and um, around 2400 US dollars here. So it goes all the way up to the 0.786 FIP level. It was reached, the price did react very nicely to the target area and now we are seeing a move up here. As expected, the price is still here in the um, yellow target area that is for this way for the ideal target area and is based on Fibonacci levels. And again, as per the Elliott Wave rules, we can go with the ideal target levels for the way for sitting between 2,670 roughly and 3,330. So at the moment, this could still be a way for, yeah? Always bear in mind, I always said, when a crypto that I cover reaches the target area down here of this larger correction, theoretically, the, um, the correction could be over. And at any point, it could build an impulse. And at any point, we could get out of here and get to new all-time highs because the correction could be over. Ethereum has fulfilled all the requirements to complete the correction. Yes, there could be another wave down, as indicated on this chart, another wave five. And I still find that fairly likely, yeah. Um, but in the end, it doesn't really matter. For me, the thing is done. Yeah, we've hit the target area down here and the target areas were always there for, you know, a potential turnaround area. If you use that to go long or not, that's up to you. But it was always there as a potential target area for a turnaround and that has happened so far. So a very nice upside since then from all the way down here, 2,200 roughly to now 3,200. Yeah, so quite significant upside within just, yeah, basically a few days, you know. So spot on, I think. And now we are in this wave four. We are currently maxing out what a wave four can do. We already see quite a large reaction currently to the 50 day moving average. You can see that up here. So the 50 day moving average is sitting at $3,200. Yeah, and we see, I think from this whole move up here currently, yeah, one of the larger um, red candles. Yeah, this I wouldn't consider this an impulsive move yet. This could still very well be just a corrective move, but it's looking more impulsive than for many other cryptos. Yeah, you don't have this long, for many cryptos you have this long sideways movement down here. Um, but yeah, Ethereum pretty much just started to move up here with higher highs and higher lows. Um, overall now, really, we're also getting here close to the decision point at 3,330. But as long as we stay below that level, um, I think, you know, this is still very likely that this is just a wave four and we're coming down in another wave five that could come down pretty much as low as $1,700. But anyway, it has done what it needs to do in the correction. If we come down once more or if we just go up from here, it has done what it needs to do. It's done. My, my TA so far has been fulfilled with this correction, which is fantastic. I know it saved a lot of people money. I see that in the comments, which is really good to see. And now, yeah, I'm really excited to see what's going to happen here. Um, do we bounce off once more and come once more lower for another buying opportunity? Uh, but then again, it's very interesting to see, do we make a lower low and will that be a wave five? Or do we make a higher low? And do we get something completely different? Do we get then uh, a first impulse here? Do we complete this impulse here and get something like already a wave one, two, three, four, five? And if this is that, then I think we could find support either here at around 2,660 or here in this target area at 2,400 roughly. And this could then be a higher low. And from here, if we make a significant higher low here, um, yeah, then I think we can really with much more confidence say, right, the low might be in and you're gonna get higher from here. Um, now, what would I do? Would I go with a wave B scenario as I talked about it um, for Bitcoin where you basically get um, something here like, 
that all of this was basically just a wave A, you're coming up in another wave B and down still once more in a wave C. That's pretty much what I would expect for Bitcoin if it moves above its wave four target. Yeah, everybody who watches my Bitcoin videos will know about that. Um, where we could also move significantly higher or would I actually go with a scenario that Ethereum could move to new all time highs. Um, personally, I'm actually quite inclined to say, well, the low could be in and Ethereum could be on its way to new all time highs. Need to think about that a little bit. I'm not quite sure. Need to see how the price is developing um, because Ethereum, the chart is just looking much more interesting and much more bullish than the Bitcoin chart. Yeah. Um, especially considering that Ethereum has already reached that blue target area down there. So I find that highly interesting and really can't wait to see how this is going to play out. So that's my view on Ethereum. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please smash the like button and subscribe. And if you really like the content, maybe consider to join the channel membership and there you can see my own buy and sell orders. You can join Telegram, Discord. You can join a weekly live stream every Sunday. And uh, yeah, just enjoy the community. So it would be great. And to do that, if you want to sign up, you can find the links in the video description and you can do that either on my website or here on YouTube. And don't forget to like and uh, maybe even leave a comment and then see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye bye.